Trill City Films, bro. That's my shit. You got some, bro. You gonna make it. All right, man. All right, Trill City here, man. We got Wild Hunt. Oh, we got No Sleep Woods. You understand me? If you don't know me, you better get to know me. Put me in your mother. Hey, you dig? You better get next to me. Yes, sir. Understand me? Yeah, shout out Intel Hip Hop. You dig? Intel Hip Hop. We're going to get to that, too. Yes, sir. So, uh, speaking of the name, you, you went through several name changes. No Sleep Woods, Wild Hunt Woods. I know you as YG. Yeah. You know. Uh, so, so was there any reason for the name change? Well, you know what I'm saying, back in the day when I first started rapping, I used to go by uh, Y motherfucking G, YG, you know what I'm saying, high school, I had a Gumby, cut it off, and started calling me YG, young Gumby, kind of YG. So, that transition over, as I got older, I transitioned over to Wild Hunter Woods. I'm from Chicago, so where I'm from, my hood is called Wild Hunters. I'm from the Hunters. And, um, uh, some shit happened with that, with my pops and everything, you know, he came home. And uh, I had to go ahead and change my name. He, he he gave me the game on what happened, what was what, going on. Can't speak too much on it, but went from Wild Hunter Woods to No Sleep Woods. Okay, okay. Uh, speaking on your pops, uh, y'all come from Chicago, right? Yes, yeah, sir. Southside, hundred thirty second. You feel me, Wild Hunters? I am from Chicago. You dick. Okay. What what was it like growing up in Chicago at a young age? Shit, it, it, it was wild, you know what I'm saying? It was decent, you know what I'm saying? Running the streets with my cousin and everything. Did what we did, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we can't do that now. Totally different environment from back in the 90s to now, you know what I'm saying? Chicago. So as, as kids growing up in Chicago, it, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was fun, you know what I'm saying? We were able to go to the park, go, go play basketball, do what we need to do, shit like that. You can't do that now. It, it's crazy. You can't, you, can't, you can't walk on the street. You can't. Certain, certain places you can't go. You know what I'm saying? You wear certain colors, you can't do that. And they're gonna, hey, they're gonna say, hey, what, 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 what the band is? It's wild, you know. But shit. What do you, what do you think inspired that change in Chicago? Made it worse like that? The music. The or? music, most yeah. definitely the music. It got, it got to be the music. Uh, the drill music. It, it's, it's uh, people go off. You know what I'm saying? What they hear. You know what I'm saying? What's, what's in the music? And then they feed off that. That's energy. Music is energy. You know what I'm saying? It can be positive, it can be negative. And people take it and run with it. That, that's how I feel about it. Yeah, yeah. definitely. So, um, so speaking of your dad in Chicago, you, was your dad in, he was in prison? Did some time in jail? Yeah, he did some time uh, back in 94. He got sentenced to 56 years. He did 28 flat. He came home six months after I came home, which is a blessing in itself. Uh, I didn't know he was on his way home. They surprised me. I came home. I'm chilling at, at your pops here. Hey, and if you know me, and you know how I feel about my pops. If you listen to my music, y'all know. You know what I'm saying? That's my OG. You feel me? Hey, shout out to him. You dig for real. Yeah, they, he was in the last video. Yeah, but, uh, understand me? Yeah. Y'all make sure y'all go listen to that for real. You dig? Yes, sir. So, uh, at what age... Well, before we get there, so you were living with your with your grandmother? Yeah, in Chicago, I live with my granny. Uh, as I transitioned over and moved to Texas, I live with my auntie. Uh, granny took care of me in Chicago. Uh, she stayed back while me and my cousins moved out here to Texas. Um, I moved in with my auntie, and she, and she, she raised me from, from then until now. You know what I'm saying? I'm, that's it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so... At what age did you move back to Texas? When I moved to Texas, I moved out here in fifth grade. I was in fifth grade. Uh, I can't really, I don't really know the age at the moment, but yeah, I was in fifth grade when I moved here. So I've been to Texas a long ass time. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a decent amount of time, and I fuck with Texas. You know what I'm saying? Fort Worth. I've been in Fort Worth for a long ass time, for real. Oh, so, yeah. Okay, and how did that affect you? Did you was did you know anybody out here? Any family, friends, or you just made all new friends? Or? Uh, I had family, like I said, my auntie and shit. They moved out here, then I stayed back. I came to visit. I went back to Chicago, and then I came back to Texas to move permanently. Uh, I had my auntie out here, moved out here, my cousin and shit. Um, I didn't know anybody out here. I had no friends, no no family, nobody that I knew of. I got family out here now, you know what I'm saying, that I know. But back then, I didn't. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out Darnell. Darnell was the first nigga I met when I moved to Texas. So I walk in the classroom like, hey, come sit over here. Uh, first nigga I met. Shout out to him. Day one, for real. Oh, 
know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, um, there's been growing up without without a father. Was, was do you think there was any effects? Yeah, I didn't. Uh, I had a father figure. You know what I'm saying? My uh, my auntie's husband. Mm-hmm. Uh, I actually I call her my mom's. Uh, if y'all know me, then y'all know. I ain't gonna get into it, but if y'all know me, y'all know. Uh, so um, I wouldn't. I had a father figure. You know what I'm saying? But it's different when it's not your biological parents. You feel me? Mm-hmm. It's real different. It hit different. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people would say, uh, "Oh, you got um, you acting out doing this because of your, you know, you know what I'm saying." Your parents not being here, but I will always blow that off like, no, nah, this ain't that, this ain't that. But deep down inside, it's really that. You feel me? Mm-hmm. But hey, I'm good though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying I'm, I'm bigger and better now. So you feel me? But yeah, it was, it was, it was, uh, it was most definitely, it was a different experience for real. Yeah. Yeah.